Why is it such a struggle to find information on normal porosity hair? Well, that's because people just simply don't talk about it. Technically, it should be the easiest out of the hair porosities to care for, but I'm gonna share with you three things that you need to avoid doing. What's up Kellys? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kiki and if you are new here I do all things curly hair tips, product reviews and styling. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you three things that you need to avoid doing for your normal porosity hair. So let's get into the video. Being a normal porosity hair curly myself I can definitely speak from experience on this topic and the first thing that you need to avoid doing with your medium porosity hair is you need to stop neglecting protein treatments. Protein treatments are so underrated and they are really, really useful if you have normal porosity hair. Your hair can withstand protein treatments because they don't dislike it, they really like it, and the balance of protein and moisture work really well for this porosity type. So if you have normal porosity hair, make sure you're incorporating protein treatments or a bond reconstructing treatment or a strengthening treatment somewhere in your weekly or monthly hair care routine. For me, I saw the most health and I got the most out of my hair when I was doing protein treatments by weekly. At one point I was doing them every single week because my hair was just thriving off these and I feel like it's such an underrated thing to do a little protein treatment but take my word for it, if you have normal porosity hair you want to make sure you get these into your regimen somewhere even if it's at least once a month. The second thing that you need to avoid doing for your normal porosity hair is you need to avoid overusing heat. And with our hair, we tend to think it can withstand quite a lot because it isn't too dry, it isn't too porous. Technically, it is the easiest of the hair types to care for, but that doesn't mean that you should kind of take advantage of that and neglect it in any way and regard it any different. It's still curly hair and it's still more susceptible to dryness and breakage than any other hair type. So. With that being said, make sure if you are using heat, you're still using heat protectors. You're not overdoing it, you're not doing it every day, you're not putting hair straighteners on it or curlers weekly. You still need to obviously treat it as if it is quite delicate and it is susceptible to breakage. So really take care when you are using heat products. And with this, I don't mean your diffusers, I mean your direct heat, like your blow dryers and your straighteners and things like that. Just don't overdo it, because I have made that mistake in the past and I definitely did live to regret it after that. The final thing that you need to avoid doing if you have non porosity hair is using hair products that are drying. And by this, I mean any product that contains like drying alcohols or anything that you know dries your hair out, make sure you avoid it because although we do have medium porosity hair or non porosity hair our hair does get dry and if definitely if you have thicker curly hair or higher density curly hair then this is definitely one for you our hair will dry out just as quick as those high porosity girlies so make sure that if you are using your products they're really nice they're moisturizing you're keeping a close eye on how often you need to moisturize because we can get away with not moisturizing for a couple of days and then our hair might may dry out and i've been victim to this i've kind of like got a little bit lazy with my wash and go left it three or four days and by the fourth day the underneath of my hair is knotting up and matting and tangling and i'm getting breakage and single strand knots so don't take it for granted, although we do have the easiest hair type to look after, it still does need maintenance. And using products that are nice and moisturising and keeping an eye on how hydrated your hair is will be the best thing for your hair. Hope you enjoyed this video. Drop down any normal porosity tips in the comments and I will see you in the next one.